Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Linux lovers and everyone around the world. My name is Walid Hassan and here is my next video in Linux Capsules channel. Welcome to Linux Capsules. We have presented this to you before the course objectives, but of course you can review them here. Also, we have presented the structure of the course. It is here if you want to review. Today, we are starting with the first capsule. X is a Linux server commands, commands, and some more commands. This capsule is divided into multiple sections. Let's talk about section number one, history. First of all, let's fly in time through some important years to the Linux and Unix world. As you can see, first year, 1957, Bell Labs found they needed an operating system for their computer center that at that time was running various patch jobs. The Bezos operating system was created at Bell Labs to deal with these needs. 1965, Bell Labs was adopting third generation computer equipment and decided to join forces with General Electric and MIT to create Multix, Multiplex Information and Computing Service. 1969, AT&T decided to withdraw Multix and go with g -Cloud. When Multix was withdrawn, Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie needed to rewrite an operating system to play space travel on another smaller machine, a DEC PDP-7, program data processor for K-memory for user programs. The result was a system that a planning colleague called Unix, Uniplexed Information and Computing Service, and Emasculated Multix. Same year, summer 1969, Unix was developed. Also, Linus Torvalds was born on December 28, 1969. Remember that lovely name. 1971. First edition of Unix released on November 3, 1971. The first edition of the Unix Programmer's Manual by K. Thompson and D. M. Ritchie includes over 60 commands like B, Compile B Program, Boot, Reboot System, cat, concatenate files, chdir, change working directory, chmod, change access mode, chown, change owner, cp, copy file, ls, list directory contents, mv, move or rename file, r off, run off text, wc, get word count, who, who is on the system, the main thing missing was types. 1972, the second edition of Unix was released on December 6, same year. Ritchie revolt B and called the new language the C language. 1973, Unix had been installed on 16 sites, all within AT&T, Western Electric. It was publicly unveiled at a conference in October, same year. The third edition of Unix was released in February, and the same year, the fourth edition of Unix was released in November 1974. The fifth edition of Unix was released in June, same year. Thompson went to UC Berkeley to teach for a year. Bill Joy arrived as a new graduate student. Frustrated with AD, Joy developed a more featured editor, EM. 1975. The sixth edition of Unix was released in May, same year, Born Shell was introduced, began being added onto. 1977, 1.0 BSD was released. 1978, 2.0 BSD was released. 1979, 3.0 BSD released. Same year, STO founded by Doug and Larry as Unix Sporting and Consulting Company. 1980, 4.0 BSD released. 1982, SGI introduced IREX. Same year, HP UX 1.0 released. 1983, AT&T released its first version of System V. Same year, STO delivers its first package Unix system called STO Xenex System V for Intel. 8086 and 8088 processor-based PCs. Same year, 1983, 
The GNU project was first announced by Richard Stallman on September 27. The GNU General Public License, GNU GPL or GPO, is a widely used free software license that guarantees end users the freedom to run, study, share, and modify the software. 1984, Altrex was first released. 1985, the 8th edition of Unix was released. Same year, the GNU Manifesto was published in the March issue of Dr. Dove's Journal. The GNU project starts a year and a half later. 1986, the 9th edition of Unix was released in September. 1987, Sun and AT&T laid the groundwork for business computing in the next decade with an alliance to develop Unix system be released for. 1988 HPUX 2.0 released. Same year HPUX 3.0 released. 1989 STO ships STO Unix system V slash 386, the first volume commercial product license by AT&T to use the Unix system trademark. Same year HPUX 7.0 released and the 10th edition of Unix released in October 1990. AIX, short for Advanced Interactive Executive, was first entered into the market by IBM February 1991. Sun unveils Solaris 2 operating environment, specially tuned for symmetric multiprocessing. Same year, Linux was introduced by Linus Torvalds. A student in Finland. Do you remember when he was born? And the history never stops. But let me stop our history flight here. In 1991, while studying computer science at the University of Helsinki, Linus Torvalds began a project that later became the Linux kernel. He wrote the program specifically for the hardware he was using and independent of an operating system because he wanted to use the functions of his new PC with an AC386 processor. Development was done on Minet using the GNU C compiler. The GNU C compiler is still the main choice for compiling Linux today, but can be built with other compilers such as the Intel C compiler. As Torvalds wrote in his book, Just for Fun, he eventually ended up writing an operating system kernel on 25th August 1991. He, at age 21st, announced the system in a Usenet posting to the newsgroup conf.os.minix. Let me read his post to you. Hello everyone out there using Minix. I'm doing a free operating system. Just a hobby. Won't be big and professional like GNU for 386 or 86 AT clones. This has been brewing since April and is starting to get ready. I'd like any feedback on things people like dislike in Minix, as my OS resembles a somewhat same physical layout of the file system due to the practical reasons among other things. I have currently ported Bash 1.08 and GCC 1.40 and things seem to work. This implies that I'll get something practical within a few months and I'd like to know what features most people would want. Any suggestions are welcome, but I won't promise I'll implement them. Linus P.S. Yes, it is free of any Minix code and it has a multi-threaded file system. It is not portable, uses 386 bus switching and it probably never will support anything other than AT hard disk as that's all I have, Linus Torvald. This is for the first section, history. Wait for the second section of this capsule which is coming soon. Do not forget the following. Do not subscribe, like, share or comment if you want to stop this video by you and if you do not like to spread the knowledge among others that might need it. Please do subscribe, like, share and comment if you are not that person. Thank you and have a great day Linux lovers.